This food got recalled. The company doesn't tell you why. You can't always trust these companies. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope your pets are doing well. Thousands of animals were affected by this tragic flooding in British Columbia about a week ago. What we want to do is sort of help. What we're choosing to do is donate any of the proceeds and the advertising uh, for the next week from the videos. I'm going to donate to those to the local SBCA. We're having a Black Friday sale. A percent of all the proceeds of that sale that's also going to support these animals affected by flooding. I'll put a link in the box below specifically to the BC SBCA website and how you can go about helping. So about this recall. Early September, Mars Pet Care, they announced a limited recall of some of this Whiskers dry cat food in Canada. Thing is, they didn't say why. They didn't really express much of a concern. There's just a limited voluntary recall. No cause for alarm. They're like, hmm. So do you keep feeding this food to your cat or not? Like they're not saying there's a problem. Maybe there's not much of a risk. Maybe it's just, you know, they're trying to comply with some government regulations. Maria, he's purring away. He seems to think this food is fine. But one of the major grocery store retailers, they did publish the reasons why this cat food was being recalled. They said that some of this, this whiskers dry cat food, it contained elevated levels of certain very serious and potentially life-threatening fungal toxins. These fungal toxins, they can make your cat seriously clinically sick, right? The GI stuff, vomiting, diarrhea, potentially liver disease, you know, lead to things such as pancreatitis, you know, inflammatory bowel disease, even hepatic lipidosis. This is information that Susan Thixon published in The Truth About Pet Food. And first, I'm grateful that she did. More than anything, it's just to highlight concerns that you should have about some of these major pet food companies. I mean, a giant multinational company like Mars, pretty sure they can afford to recall some Whiskers cat food. And not only that, be transparent about it. So you know if she'd be serious or not. I mean, and I guess what I'm trying to get at is don't necessarily put a bunch of faith in these big companies, just assuming they've got government regulations they're gonna comply. You know, because ultimately it seems like they're gonna do what's best for their bottom line, not what is the ethical or the right thing to do. Fortunately, I don't know if any cats were affected or not. I didn't see any reports of affected or ill cats. And obviously that's just good fortune. Is there a takeaway from all of this? It's like one, I mean, really be critical and thoughtful of what you're feeding your cat. Obviously, I would never suggest that you feed whiskers, especially with like this dry kibble cat food for umpteen different reasons. Um, and then just secondarily, you know, just know like these are these big multinational companies. I mean, they're first profit driven and they got shareholders that they speak to. Then second, third and fourth comes like, you know, ultimately the concern for the welfare of your cat or your dog or you. Thanks you guys for watching. If you're able to support in any way and help out with all those different people and so many animals affected by the BC floods, that would be great. And I said earlier, we're doing the same thing in part with this video and all the videos happening for the next week. Thanks for watching. It's Dr. Jones.